you feel the pressure of, I, I see it all the time, parents would be like, you know, you have a responsibility because kids are watching. You hear that Cardi B had that same problem and Nicki had that same problem. Do you feel that same way? Like, I don't know. Really, I feel like I used to, but now it's just like, so? Like, like fuck your kids. Not like, fuck your kids. <laughs> That's exactly that what hard. you just said. <laughs> <laughs> but like, but like, fuck your kids. But like I'm you a, just gave them another headline, Montero. <laughs> okay? What agenda is that? The fuck your kids agenda? <laughs> it's like, um... Yeah. We really get one, one sense to do this, at least to my knowledge. I don't know, like, what happens when we die or not. Uh, <laughs> so it's like, I'm not... I'm not, like, about to pander to your kids or you... Like, anybody, like, even, I have, even have to do this with my family members, you know, like, because my family members may not always agree with what I'm doing, or, like, whoever I'm dating, like, they may not agree, but it's like, I honestly really. Shalom. I want to give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Kakadash, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well, peace, blessings, and salutations to you sincere Akim out there, pushing the truth across the four corners of earth. All right, and I had a couple of scriptures, but, man, he, the agenda is clear, man. The agenda is fucking clear. Crystal clear. Brothers called it out from day one. You know, we know the we know the M.O. for guys like this. All right. But the thing that just popped in my mind was that Wisdom of Solid. Is it, is it two? All right. And one. And this is the, this is just goes to show you the reasoning of Jake who's into this world, man. This guy, little Nas X, doing all this, you know, got naked, you know, alternate lifestyle men, you know, dancing in a prison, and just on some, just on some straight Sambo shit, all right, for fame. All right, like you said, fuck your kids, all right? And that's how all of these entertainers and all these people who are on television, that's how they feel. Like all these people who are people idolize and look up to and they want to spend hours of their life, days of their life, years of their life. Some people go and have years of their life watching television. Right, and that's something, you know, you have to check as well, man, because here it is. You got shit going on around you in real real life. You know what I'm saying? That's another thing, too, man. Be not caught up into this world. Be not caught up into the, too caught up into the entertainment and the video games and the the rap music, all this, you know, the world of folly and bullshit, you know, while, meanwhile, around you, you got, you know, your own personal business to attend to, you got your own, you know, stuff going on, and you're not, you know, handling business, all right, and that's something that I've seen that can uh, distract and slow down a lot of brothers, man, they get caught up into, you know, basically folly, all right, caught up into online and, and television and you know, you have people who basically, in this world, they devote their whole life. You know, everything in their life is situation around sitting down and watching the television. And I'm guilty of it too, man. Sometimes I'll sit down and, you know, of course, you, you're doing business because you can handle some business online and stuff too. All right, but you know, a lot of times you got to step away from that, man. That's what, that's what that Day of Atonement was about, man. You know, focusing, meditating. You know, putting yourself through that that suffering, putting you know, not eating, not drinking, not dealing with your woman. Like right? these Israelites talking about, you can do all that stuff, they're not in the right spirit, right? Because the times we're coming into, we're coming into times that have never been. The scriptures say it, man. It's gonna be times that have never been before on this earth. When shit is gonna be crazy, it's gonna be hell. Holy hell is gonna be unleashed, right? But this is wisdom of Solomon 2 and 1, so like it. It just, you know, this this is it, man. Better is the end of a thing. For the ungodly said, reasoning with themselves, you know, this is in his own mind. He's not reasoning with the scriptures. Like the scriptures say, come now, let us reason together. All right? Reasoning with themselves, but not a right. Yeah, so that reasoning with itself is not a right. Those uh, seven watchmen that it talks about, that give counsel in your mind, they they telling him some bullshit, all right? This is Jake, man. They telling him to, to he's, he's been giving up to that, man. They telling him to, to uh, do all of this stuff, man. To, 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 what else did he do? Slide on, on a stripper pole into hell and give, a, the, give Satan a lap dance, all right? Which that was a, what the fuck? 
you know, right after, directly after he's, you know, performing at kids' schools and shit. Right? Basically saying, I'm, I'm willing to do anything to, to get on. I'm willing to do anything for this. Like he said, like you only get one chance at this. Yeah, so he's not here for the love. He's not here for, for education or none of that shit. Man, he's here to be famous. And he's here to, to play that game. And that's for all these, these, these young niggas and spickers. All right, it's not the it's not the old days where love was the objective or you know sending a message to your people like in you know some of the older music. All right, this is reasoning with themselves but not the right. Our life is short and tedious, and in the death of a man there is no remedy. Neither was there any man known to have returned from the grave. And what did he say? I I don't know what happens when you die. I don't know. And that's how our people feel. Well, look, you know, I'm going to just do whatever. You know, fuck it. I don't know what's going to happen. I'm just here for for, for a, a short time, a good time. All right, well, how does the lyric go? I'm here for a good time, not a long time, you know. I. Right? Right, it says, for we are born at all adventure, and we shall be hereafter as though we had never been for the breath in our nostrils is that smoke and a little spark in the moving of our heart. All right, and it sounds, you know, it sounds, it can sound poetic. We just here for a little bit, you know. But the the spiritual man, the the wise man, is gonna understand that you come back. All right, energy it is taken away from this earth and is put back into this earth. All right, and the Lord has. Cycle set up, all right? This the circle of life. Guess what? We're part of that circle as well. All right, little Nas is part of that circle. But like the scriptures say, we're gonna come back standing on our lot in the end of days. So right now we're in, we're in our lot. All right, that's what a lot of our people don't want to accept. They wanna, you know, rather than just accept it and just go hard and just, you know, what I'm saying, bunker down and and deal with whatever lot the Lord has given you, then, you know, it's it's. it's our people want to want to buck up against it, man, and follow after Esau, and that's why you're gonna be destroyed. All right, let me close it out. You know, this don't have to be too long. It's just just looking at you know the type of people who are who are leading our society, who are leaders and you know worthy of interviews, and you know, and Charlemagne over there laughing, but he know what it is. He knows what the, the agenda is. He knows what the, what the game is. He just you know he's good at playing stupid. That's why they got him in that position. All right. But this is Sirach 14 and 5. It says, he that is evil to himself, to whom will he be good? He shall not take pleasure in his goods. All right. And, and know these people, you know, they're, they're evil to themselves, man. They put themselves, you know, in these bad situations. You know, dealing, you got man dealing with man, women dealing with women. You know, dealing with this producer, that producer. You know what I'm saying? Willing to do whatever behind the scenes, you know, I can't say it, but we all know what it is. And right, we, we all know, you know, why Hollywood has uh, all those uh, Babylonian deities and idols set up. All right, so who, yeah, he said, he shall not take pleasure in his goods. These people, they don't sleep well. That's one thing you remember, man. He, and another thing in this interview too, man, he looks, he looks shaken up. He don't look. You know, he's not focused. He's not like he's looking. Do another headline. You look at brothers teaching. You know, you look at the apostles on down. You know, brothers, uh, we, we go through it. You know, we might be a little worn out, but we're focused. You know, what I'm saying we have that faith, and we see it and we understand it. And these people in this world, they don't have that. They don't have that. They don't. They, maybe they have it. Some of them just haven't received it. And some of them won't receive it. All right. That's why everything is just becoming just a bad look. And the scriptures say what? Let the wicked be wicked still. Let the righteous be righteous still. All right, so we got to continue on, man, because we're not exempt from the things that are coming up next too, man. The Lord is going to try us as well. All right, but he's going to try us. And we have we have works, man, so we're hoping for that. We have works and we have faith, so we're hoping for that mercy to endure. All right, and, you know, let's, let's finish it off, man. Hey, this is Psalm 68 and 1. All right? It says, let the Most High arise. Let his enemies be scattered. Let them 
also that hate him flee before him. All right, as smoke is driven away, so drive them away. As wax melted the, before the fire, so let the wicked perish at the presence of the Most High. All right, and that's what's gonna happen, man. That 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 that, that uh, fire. If they even get to that fire, because it's gonna be before that, Esau Edom is gonna be on your ass. You know, but if you make it that far, they, what does it say? The tongue is gonna consume away in the mouth. Right, a Baba Ball, so the one.